Hello everyone, I've got a problem for you. You look like the sort of person I can trust with a problem. Now this problem was actually sent to me by Kyle G. Mick and I enjoyed solving the problem so I thought I'd give it to you as well. Uh, he asked me, how many different ways are there to completely fill a noughts and crosses board? Uh, noughts and crosses, you might know that as tic-tac-toe. It has a three by three grid and then you fill it using four noughts and five crosses. And he wanted to know how many ways you can completely fill the grid, not including rotations and reflections. Now, first of all, don't overcomplicate the problem. Now, we're not talking about noughts and crosses games here, because a noughts and crosses game could terminate early when you get three in a row. That's not what we're asking. We're asking a much simpler question. We're asking how many ways can you completely fill the nine squares of a tic-tac-toe grid, a noughts and crosses grid, using four noughts and five crosses. Now that's not including rotations and reflections. So these three grids are actually the same. The second grid is just a rotation of the first grid. And the third grid is a reflection of the first grid. So we don't need to count those. Those grids are the same. We don't need to count them. So how many different ways can we fill in one of these knots and crosses grids? Now, I might give you some time to think about that. Uh, I could give you the answer now. I'll tell you what, if you want something to aim for, I'll try to be a little bit uh, obtuse about it. The answer is the atomic weight of vanadium. So hopefully that doesn't give it away. Uh, I will be back in a couple of days. I think there's a couple of ways to solve that. So until then, I will see you later.